Hello everyone and welcome back to Farming Seminar 22. We're back here on No Man's Land with Grover Games. So I made a little goof up. So during the meantime, after the first episode, I went out and got another load of wood and I was going to sell it at the beginning, but I accidentally sold it and saved the game before coming back. So we're up to 25 grand now and it's getting late, but we can finally pick up the house at least. And we're going to pick up, we're going to pick up a tra tractor today. First things first. Ooh. So, but I have a house in mind. Nothing fancy. And I believe we're going to go with. Army says we should go with this one. But you know what we're going to go with. Just to get us by for now. We're just going to pitch ourselves up a $50 tent. That's all we're going to be sleeping in for the next few days. And then after that, we'll pick up our... We'll pick up our real house, but anyway, the other thing we're going to do is we got a few items we're going to buy. We're going to buy a toolbox, which I think is in here. I'm trying to remember where it's at. Uh, it's probably easier to go. Mods. I wonder if it's... So there's a placeable toolbox mod, and I can't remember been a while since I last messed with it. It must be under construction. So let's go back here. Tools. So we're going to get a toolbox set up as well. Kind of odd, it's, well, I suppose it starts off where I'm at, so. Probably not the most optimal thing to do like this, but you know what? It's fine. I'm just going to place that right next to our tent for tent we pitched for now, and then I think we're going to eventually sell that too. And then we'll get a, like a real shop. Maybe we'll do a carport workshop. Or get something like one of these shops again. But I haven't decided so. Or we might just get the normal vehicle shop that I believe the maker of this map is Alien Jim. Puts on here. Because I actually like this shop. There's a lot of cool details to it and such. So I think we might go with that in the long run. But I know you're probably all anticipating what tractor I've decided to buy. For our first two-wheel drive tractor, so we're going to walk into here. And we're going to get ourselves a small tractor. And we're going to get ourselves an Oliver. We're going to leave it open station. The first few tractors I think we're going to have open station. It's going to be an 1855. We could go with the turbo diesel, but I don't really want to get too crazy with hor getting some 150 horsepower right away since I want to feel like we're building up to something more. We're going to stick with the 92 horse. And the other reason I want to stick with this is because in reality, growing up, we still, my grandparents had an 1855 Oliver. Still do, but it does not, is not on the farm operation anymore. It's just kind of been put away in storage permanently but it's a cabin one but we also got a 1950 oliver my brother bought with a detroit diesel in it and i don't know who made this mod but if they could if they ever watch this video 1950 oliver with detroit diesel in it exactly like this and we'll be golden but so we're gonna pick this up for 13500 which i don't think is too bad i'm hoping we have enough money to get everything. I was going to buy a quickie lo 
loader attachment for it. We're gonna go with jet black for the colors. Cause uh, I tried the other greens, but nothing. Like I thought this coat, coat would be close. I think that's how you pronounce it. And the olive green is not close enough, but this would probably be the closer color, but it's still not the right color. And then we're not gonna buy a log fork. I am taking this out of the page from Mr. Sealy P. I'm sure if you guys are watching this video, most of you've heard of him. And it looks like I will not be able to do that yet. So we are gonna have to get go back and make some more money, it looks like. Till we can get this. But this is what we're going to get, be going for, is the big bag lifter. And I'll show you why as soon as we get enough money. Because the other thing we're going to need is some weight. Uh, where's the weights? Oh, uh, there we go, weights. And I think we're going to go with... I think we're gonna go with the sapphire just because I think I want something with at least 10,000 kilograms or 1100 so and that's also it's also a very cheap weight so I think we're gonna go with that and 50 bucks can't believe up be in January it's getting dark awfully fast yet So I think what we're gonna do, since we don't ha officially have enough money yet to get that bag lifter for lifting logs, we'll at least get the... I'm sure they won't mind us leaving this at the store for another night. I mean, we already spent quite a bit of money for towards it. But what we'll do is, we'll just put this inside for the night. We'll leave it here till we make enough money to get our last piece of the puzzle and then we can get some serious logging done. But for now, we're going to head on back. We're going to head on back to the, I say to the farm, but we don't have a farm going yet. Let's pitch up in our tent for the night. We'll, we'll have to cut down a few of the bigger trees now. I, I think I've cleaned up most of the smaller trees in the wood area last part of the... My, with my last load here. So we'll have to probably clear up some of the big, bigger ones now, which I was hoping to avoid as much as I can until we got at least a loader and a tractor over here so we can make more money off it just because of the bigger, li the thicker limbs and such, we get a better price for them when we sell them. Oh. We can just go here. Sleep till 8 in the morning. Hopefully there's enough daylight by then. Oh yeah, that's plenty of daylight. So I haven't decided if I'm going to get those, rid of all those trees, but I know we're we're still working. My main goal right now is we're going to clear the, all those trees straight north right there. That is my penultimate goal. I'm trying to avoid cutting all of them down because it takes quite... We have to trim them down quite a bit. Oh, looks like a missile log there to sell. Ah, that's fine. Hey, and there's a log I missed from earlier. But, like I said, my penultimate goal is clear out all these trees here. Because this is a really nice, like, flat area. We'll be able to build build quite a few buildings here. And it'll just 
be the best for like location for that stuff because we're gonna eventually we're gonna invest in bins and i as of right now i kind of wouldn't mind putting the bins like right over here and that way we can kind of keep keep adding to the bins as we're going so if we need like one another bin set up we can just plop it right next to it because i'm planning to go with the top load bins i guess is a i guess is the best way best way to put us blah, put it so we'll have to use a auger the whole time to like load it load the bins and then we'll have to i'm planning to get a and we'll have to use another another auger or the same auger to unload the bins when we go to sell our crop here and i found a corn drying mod i haven't decided if i'm going to go with it yet I'm leaning, I'm strongly leaning towards it right now. But right now, that's kind of the plan here. But right now, we'll have to take a few of these trees out. Hopefully get at least enough to make eight grand here. Oh, there we go. One thing I noticed with this Lumberjack mod, if you cut too low, it gets a little finicky sometimes, I feel like, trying to grind stumps, or maybe that's just me. But we'll jump into time lapse here. I was hoping... Oh. I was hoping... Sorry about that, my alarm was going off. I was hoping that we could avoid an, another, like, hand-holding hand log trimming experience, but it looks like we'll have one more, at least one more in it for us. If not two. But hopefully it'll be the last of it and we'll be able to bring the Oliver home. And be able to start using that to load some massive logs and start to substantially increase our income here from logging. And you know what? I'll be honest with you. When I was kind of doing it myself earlier, I didn't mind it too much, you know. I always kind of found logging to be a little frustrating just because I'm not good at it. But it's been kind of relaxing so far. Trying to trim this up enough so that way I don't have a bunch. There we go. Bunch of pieces to haul. Little pieces haul over here. But yeah, we'll hop into it here. And hopefully maybe three trees. Like this. Maybe four. Will get us enough to get what we need. Then we can start logging, doing the real logging experience, I guess, is what, what I'm going to call it. But we'll jump into the time lapse here now. And we'll see you guys in a bit. I was knocked down, heard the countdown through the haze in the face of defeat, yeah. I was ruled out with no bail out on my own, all alone, left to bleed out. But I rose up from the ground Just like I was profound All the odds were against me So I picked up the page And now I'm in the race Give me some space I'm a movement and I ain't losing Gonna go, 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 go I could prove Stay. 
All right, we finally got enough money to get our secret item to logging to make my life easier, at least. Better than using the logging fort for my eyes, even though the logging fort was what was going to be way cheaper than what I just I'm going to be spending. But I got to make it a little easier for me somehow. There we go. Let's pull off the logging poles. That trailer hooked up. Get the ramps pulled out here and we'll get our last piece of the item we need from her. And front loader tools. I am so glad that I saw Mr. Seely's P video of this because I this is the This is gonna make my my life a whole lot easier. We left the lights on last night. Good thing it started up right. Right away. Thank goodness. We're starting with an old 1855 Oliver. I thought about doing the 4020, but there's still some issues from what the mod is like not fully completed yet from what I've heard. Or read, I should say. By the creator of it. He says the loaders he doesn't hasn't got the loader figured out yet, so this is gonna just work out fine. Ooh. Are we a little too wide? Oh, nope, oh, we're fine. That's gonna have to drop this edge it over the wheel well wheel fenders a little. Don't really want to drive this all the way back there. Take quite a while. The tension straps down. Like I'm happy Giants put the tension straps to show that and it 
basically lock it in place. But I feel like it shouldn't have been too terribly difficult to have them run over at least, but you know what? As long as it's functional, that's all that matters. Oh gosh, I, this is a, you know, maybe that's more closer to a woodland green color. Kind of matching up to the truck, and I remember that's what this color is that I chose for the two-tone body. But now we can... We should be able to get some serious money now for our logging. Logging. This is... Like, just having a loader and everything is going to be really nice. I think our next... So I'm trying to decide if our next purchase should be a plow... Or if we should look into getting, getting a rake and getting a loading wagon and putting up a silage pit. Because I think what would be the smart thing to do is mow all the grass around here before we start creating our own fields. That's what I'm feeling right now. Get this unloaded here quick. over here so we don't drop any trees on it but ruin the machine before we even even get a chance to use it I was like hope you guys noticed during that one tree I was cutting that was all precise just barely missing the truck and everything and having it right there by the door that that was all planned out just so you're aware <laughs> if you want to believe that talk if I remember right I should just be able to pull up here we should be able to put our logging forks back on, right? Yep, there we go. Uh, flat frame. Oh, nope. There we go. Bed configurations. Log forks. Wait. Why did I have to spend $100 on it? I already had them bought before. Hmm. That was... Oh, that's why. You know what? That makes sense. You know what? That's fine. We might actually eventually use that trailer hitch. I didn't realize we... I put that option on. But you know what? That might be useful when we're... Start having to haul more equipment at home. We could put some on the flatbed trailer and we could put some... We can hook something behind it and pull it all the way here. Alright, calling it home and the only place we're sleeping in is a tent so I think the next thing we'll do just cuz we'll get rid of the tent right away just so we have some place a little nicer to sleep in this evening and I'm gonna have to get a I think I'm gonna make myself a little measuring tool for cutting out cutting the lengths of these logs here I know there's a mod to do it, but I have to pull up the help menu and then... Oh. Okay. I'm just going to easily fix this here quick. Oh, not like that. Okay. The only few times I'll use super strength is to fix stuff like that. Otherwise, I will not be using it to just easily haul one giant limp log just because of immersion. See, look at that. Not even close to the tractor. Not even close. But yeah, I think that's what we'll do. We'll, we'll get this... We'll get these few trees chopped down. And then I think... I'm gonna have to look around and see if I can find a special loading wagon mod. Because I know I have not found any. Loading wagons are... At least around this area, are not something commonly used. So I don't think about it much. Uh, I'd rather use a pull-type chopper and such, but we'll do that. We'll get to that point later when we start getting more money rolling in and such. But I think right now the main plan is that we're going to... I think we might buy, end up buying a mower. First. 
that right there should be long enough to for the length of the trailer, ain't it? A little too heavy, apparently. Yes, right now. So this is going to be my measuring tree. That way. Yep, I say that's about perfect, so. So what we'll do is... We'll flip this around, actually. Basically, we'll keep moving it down the tree. That gives us about the right length we want to fit on our trailer. And this way, we'll make it the most for our money. So, sorry I got distracted again, but we'll probably end up buying a rake, a mower, and we'll probably have to invest into a little cheap silage pit. Probably a bucket just to clean up any little bit of spills we get when we're trying to fill the pit up, so... We still got a few more purchases ahead of us. And then from there, I think we'll look into buying our first plow. So we can start getting fields made. The one thing I'm not looking forward to is all the rocks we're going to ha have to be, pick be picking after we get done plowing. And I already got, I already got my eye on a, on a vintage drill is what I'm going to call it. It's got... That's a, going to be a no-till drill, so we don't have to worry about tillage. So we'll have we'll save some money there, and it it's also applies fertilizer while we're planting. So the Oliver and the Oliver will be able to handle pulling it. And I th my kind of plan right now for next tractor is I might get something about the same size that we got here, just so we have a second tracker around for when we start getting more of the equipment we need and we can maybe find someone who's willing to rough it out in the woods with us and help us turn this place into what we need but maybe maybe it'll be good for a one tractor one tractor show for a while yeah we probably will be good for a while because even if i hired someone i could always start logging and get all the Get all the prep work done while they're doing it, then I can go take over after I feel like I got enough. After I succumb to forest madness is what I'm going to call it. So we're going to put this over here for now. Don't want to lo lose my measuring tool. That's too heavy apparently for us to lift by hand. All right. So the moment of truth. See if I can get this to work like Mr. Sealy P has. I'm gonna start calling him the innovative thinker. Cause I know on 19 I watched him and I watched him use uh, I think they called it the big bag lifter when that CVS mod pack, which I hope they eventually get bring that back too, cause that was such a good pack. Closer. I know this works. Cause I've seen him do it. I've tried it only on one log. Look at that. Let's bring it over here, like so. I think I'm glad with I went with the heavier weight, with the thousand pound weight instead of like the six or seven hundred, because with it. Hanging so far out like that, I think the tractor would have balancing issues. I also think... Let's try this. We got these trees so close together. Mm, they're not going to quite line up. Those, That one might, so let's try that instead. There's another, there's also another logging tool I downloaded. I can't remember the base, what it's called, to be honest with you. But it's basically like a winch for, they hook up to your back of your tractor and you can pull the logs out of the woods. I don't know if we'll invest into that, because I know it takes quite a bit of controls and such. But it might, 
We might do it just because it'll probably make this part a little bit easier, more efficient. Let's pull, let's pull all the trees out of the woods here. I'll just that'll be something I'll probably have to have the help menu on because I do not. Oh. Bring it down a little bit. He's not liking all that weight, but you know what? If we take our time. We won't lose too much balance here. Oh, this is so exciting. You have no idea how excited I am that there's some besides the easy log and trailer, the automatic fill in one that I know is on PC. I don't know if it's on the console. This makes life so much easier. And this will kind of help cure, maybe help me find logging a little bit more manageable. This is kind of why I wanted to be... Granted, not the safest thing with the way it kind of goes all over the place. I have to drop that off, see if it rolls. There we go. I think we'll have to put up a little wheels. Maybe we can find some tire, old tires out in the forest here and we can put, set up ourselves a little, little wheel, tire silage pit. Oh, may, maybe it'll be worth investing into that extra logging tool that I was talking about that, that you can use to winch stuff in. Oh, there we go. Oh jeez. Oh. Oh, oh, okay, okay, okay. Uh, it's tripping out on me a little bit. Reminds me think reminds me of those like little oh those five balls on the little that are attached to the wire and you just pull one back and they hit back and forth constantly. I think as I think as soon as we get this loaded we're gonna head in and head back up to the interstate to get this load sewed off and see how much money we get out of this because it's gonna be pretty full we'll grab that little one last go. Mr. Sealy P said, easy logger. Easy logging? No, it was easy logging. I have to give credits to where credit is due, the man is, man is a genius when it comes to stuff like this. And there's nothing wrong, nothing wrong with having a little innovative thinking like this. It's gonna take me a little bit to get used to handling. But I think we're gonna just See what we get out of these first few trees here and go from there. This load strap down. Oh, that is just that is just a beautiful load. But right now, so the next List of things I'll have to do today after we finish up here. See if I can find a nice older style loading wagon we can get away with using. Maybe we'll put the silage pit down here. Just that way we 
That way, we can make the most off the land. Because with our first official full year out here, we're going to need all the money we can get. And I think we're going to... What I would like to do is make enough to buy all the basic farm equipment we're going to need. So, a gravity wagon. We'll probably have to grab a different type of wagon. Or maybe we can just buy tippers for the side side panels for to make this into a tipper. For when we haul the silage away. It would be a little bit faster. Then we wouldn't have to constantly hook and unhook the tractor. That's not what we might do in the long run. Now time for the moment of truth. How much money are we making? I'm hoping at least... I want to say 12 grand. Oh yes. That is a night and day difference from the little pilly pieces we've been selling. Oh, this is good. Now it's starting to get excited. I was kind of dreading this. Dreading this series a little bit just because I'm not a very good logger. But like I said, Mr. Sealy P is the savior for easy lo logging. And that's all we're going to That's where we're going to get in the video today, everyone. Um, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up. It really helps out the channel. If you're enjoying the content, please subscribe so I know that we can we should keep doing this series. Like I said, I'm going to make this more into the a more of a 90s farming style the best I can. It's just going to take time for finding the mods and everything. But anyways, above all else, I hope you all have a wonderful rest of the day. And most of all, thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.